KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. First question in exercise 11.4, evaluate the following. In that first question, 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta. What is that? 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta. Let us find. Okay. This is 1 plus tan theta. How can you write simply? Yes. Sin theta by cos theta. Plus secant theta. How can you write? Yes. That is 1 by cos theta. Okay. Into 1 plus cot theta. Cot theta means? Yes. Cos theta by sin theta minus cosecant theta. How can you write? 1 by sin theta. Right? Yeah. Look here. In this, what is the LCM? Yes, exactly. Cos theta. Cos theta is the LCM. Uh, here, suppose if you take 1, how many times cancel? Cos theta. Cos theta into 1? Cos theta. Plus same as no. So that is sin theta plus 1. Understood? Yeah. Next, uh, here also same. What is the LCM? Sin theta. Here? Yes. Sin theta 1 is a sin theta plus cos theta minus 1. Right? Yeah. So, that is equal to multiply these two expressions. That is cos theta into sin theta. This is denominators. Numerators? Yes. Cos theta plus sin theta plus 1 into sin theta plus cos theta minus 1, right? Yes. Here, look here carefully. In the numerator, this is cos theta plus sin theta plus 1. This is also cos theta plus sin theta minus 1, right? Yeah. So, now it is in the form of A plus B into A minus B. Suppose let us think this is A and this is B. So, this is A and this is B. What is the formula of A plus B into A minus B? Yes, A square minus B square. Uh, similarly, this is, how can you write? Yes, cos theta plus sin theta whole square minus 1 square. Right? A square minus B square. By, this is as usual. You may write cos theta plus sin theta whole square minus 1 square by cos theta into sin theta. Yes, that is equal to how can you write? This is, again it is in the form of a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square means yes, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, how can you write this one? Cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 cos theta sin theta, right? Uh, this is 1 square means minus 1 by this is cos theta into sin theta. Right? Yeah. Again, look here. Cos square theta plus sin square theta is? S1. Yes, Why? Because of trigonometric identity 1. Yes, that is equal to 1 plus 2 sin theta 2 cos theta sin theta 2 cos theta sin theta minus 1 by cos theta into sin theta. Right? Here, one, plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. Okay. Here, the remaining part is 2 cos theta sin theta by cos theta sin theta. Here, cos theta sin theta, cos theta sin theta get cancelled. Then the remaining one is 2. So, therefore, 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta value is 2. Have you understood? Yeah. Okay, evaluate the following second sum. Sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square. What is the value of sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square? Look here. This how can you write? This is in the form of a plus b whole square and this is in the form of a minus b whole square, right? Yeah. So that is equal to what is the formula for a plus b whole square? Yes, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, in the same way, how can you write this one? Sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta. Right? Yeah. 
plus write down. In the same way, this how can you write? A minus B whole square means A square plus B square minus 2AB. Yes, that is sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta, right? Yeah. Uh, look here. Observe this. Here, th this is plus 2 sin theta cos theta and this is minus 2 sin theta cos theta. Both get cancelled or not? Yes, exactly cancelled. Next, uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta is? This is? Yes, first trigonometric identity. 1 plus this is also? 1 or not? Yes, 1. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to? Right? So, the value of sin theta plus cos theta whole square plus sin theta minus cos theta whole square is equal to 2. Understood? Next third one, secant square theta minus 1 into cosecant square theta minus 1. We know the true, uh, the two trigonometric identities See what are those secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and uh, cosecant square theta cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Right? Yeah. From this, see secant square theta minus 1. In the place of secant square theta minus 1, what can you write? Yes, write down first. Secant square theta minus 1 into cosecant square theta minus 1 that is equal to in the place of secant square theta minus 1 you can write clearly tan square theta right yeah tan square theta into cosecant square theta minus 1 in the place of cosecant square theta minus 1 here if you transfer this one in here cot square theta transfer into this set then it will be cosecant square theta minus 1 will be cot square theta right yes here in the place of cosecant square theta minus 1, we can write cot square theta. So that is equal to tan square theta into cot square theta. That is, yes, 1 by tan square theta. Why? Because of tan is the reciprocal of quant, right? Yeah. Here tan square theta, tan square theta get cancelled. So answer is 1. Therefore, the value of secant square theta minus 1 into cosecant square theta minus 1 is equal to 1. Next question. Is it clear? Show that cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. Cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. In this sum, what should we do? Yes, first we have to take LHS. Finally, we have to show RHS, right? Yeah. Look here. Take LHS in this problem. LHS is equal to cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to. Here, this is in terms of cosecant theta and cot theta. By getting of uh, terms of cos theta, write this in terms of sin or cos. Right? Yeah. Look here. Cosecant theta means this will be 1 by sin theta minus cot theta means cos theta by sin theta okay whole square right yeah that is equal to what is the lcm yes sin theta is the lcm here remaining one is 1 minus cos theta right whole square so that is equal to this will be how can you write it is a whole square right yeah so this will be 1 minus cos theta whole square by sin square theta because of square belongs to numerator and denominator no so that's why i write like this 1 minus cos theta whole square by sin square theta right yeah that is equal to 8 1 minus cos theta whole square by sin square theta in terms of cos how can you write we know very well sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Then sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So this is 1 minus cos square theta. Right? Yeah. 1 minus cos theta whole square. This can be 1 minus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. 
Why? Because of a square means a into a, b square means b into b, like that. 1 minus cos theta whole square means 1 minus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. Next, uh, here 1 square minus cos square theta. That is, a square minus b square means a plus b into a minus b. That is, 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. Right? Yeah, that is equal to here. In the numerator and denominator, 1 minus cos theta, 1 minus cos theta get cancelled. Right or not? Yes. So, the remaining part will be 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. See this RHS? We got RHS or not? Yes. We have taken LHS. Finally, we got RHS. Hence, that is equal to RHS. Hence, LHS is equal to RHS. That implies cosecant theta minus cot theta whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. Okay. Right. Third question. Show that 1 plus sin A by 1 minus sin A is equal to secant A plus tan A. Root of 1 plus sin A by 1 minus sin A is equal to secant A plus tan A. So, in this sum also, first we have to take LHS, finally we have to show RHS. Okay, let us take LHS. Yes, take LHS now. That is equal to root of 1 plus sin A by 1 minus sin A. Okay, so here RHS is secant A plus tan A. For getting this answer, we have to multiply numerator and denominator with 1 plus sin A. Okay, that is equal to root of 1 plus sin A by 1 minus sin A into, what I told you? With 1 plus sin A multiply numerator and denominator. So, 1 plus sin A by 1 plus sin A. Right? Yeah. So, this is 1 plus sin A into 1 plus sin A is 1 plus sin A whole square right by look here this is 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a a minus b into a plus b that is a square minus b square right 1 square minus sin square a root is there right here 1 square need not write so that's why simply write 1 only right that is equal to root of 1 plus sin a whole square by 1 minus sin square a. 1 minus sin square a is? Yes. Sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Then 1 minus sin square a is equal to cos square a. Cos square a. So, observe carefully. Here, uh, here square is there. Here also square is there. So, I will write like this root of 1 plus sin a by cos a whole square right yeah so because here also square numerator square is there denominator square is there i write as a whole whole square here square root get be cancelled then this will be 1 plus sin a by cos a simply how can you write 1 by cos a plus this is sin a by cos a sin a by cos a. Here 1 plus sin a by cos a, it belongs to 1 and sin a, no? So that's why this is 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a. So 1 by cos a is, what is that? Yes, reciprocal of cos a is secant a. Next sin a by cos a is? Yes, exactly, tan a. So here we got secant a plus tan a, right? Yes, that is equal to RHS. We have taken LHS, finally we got RHS. Understood? Yeah. Hence, uh, LHS is equal to RHS. So, root of 1 plus sin A by, by 1 minus sin A is equal to secant A plus tan A. Understood clearly? Yes. Okay friends, if you like my videos, 
please like and share if you want more videos please subscribe my math channel thank you thank you very much